Hello there, here is another Thargoid Spire. I'm doing a Thargoid Spire site and this one is vertical rather than horizontal, so that's that's very different. The reason I chose this was primarily because of the colour of the sky and the sky had so many different colours in it, like the, the underlying Thargoid green cloud, which was superimposed over the orange atmosphere. And then you've got the colours of the glow from various different apertures on the spires, I guess, and the glow of the, the flashbangs in the sky. And then there's the star as well, which is which is giving a bit of light to the whole thing as well. It, it was just really varied and interesting. And I quite like the, the complexity of the darkness of the spires against the spires. So, and the fact that the spire that's smaller and slightly more distant, that, that spire was, was slightly greyed out by the thickness of the fog. So whilst I really had an urge to do the details and whilst they wanted to be clear and crisp, they, they also needed to be muted because they were behind fog. And I, I, I think that's, that's one of the things that is so great about the actual spire site environment. When you're in the sky, you've got such a lot of visual information coming in and it's, it's compounded by the sound as well. This, this sound is so all surrounding and dizzying. I thought that this screenshot really gave that impression. This is quite a calm spire site, this picture. It has one Thargoid in it and there's, there's no scouts and there's no banshees and everything's fine. <laughs> and actually the Thargoid in this picture, you can't see it yet. I've not put it in yet. It comes in at the end. The Thargoid in this picture is an author, so that's not necessarily going to do any shooting either. Really, this is actually a walk in the park. But clearly there is some defence going on because, of, again, you can't see it yet. But there's, there's two pulse wave shock bubbles. The Banshees are capable of shooting these uh, flashbang type affairs. And they have the same effect as the Thargoid pulse. They knock out your systems, but they only knock them out for a few seconds when you have to sit there and then you can carry on. But of course, that's all very well if it's just one, but more often than not, it, it's numerous and you, you reel in and you're trying to reorientate yourself so that you can go up into the sky as you drift down towards the surface. But as you go down towards the surface, there's more of them get you in their sights. More flashbangs go off and knock you out for another few seconds and another few seconds. And, and really, you can be a sitting duck for quite some time before you manage to get control again. I'm speaking from the point of view of somebody who's really quite rubbish at this game. I love it, it's great fun, but actually, actually, success wise, it's not, it's not that great. Anyway, uh, yes, sorry, I am, I've been wittering on for quite some time now. I appreciate you listening and uh, looking at me colouring in, and I will be back soon. Right, bye then.